Located in the new $25 million Energy Innovation Center on the University of Wyoming campus in Laramie, Wyoming, the Hess Digital Rock Physics Laboratory opened its doors in September of 2013 with a grand opening celebration. Two, three. <laughs> <laughs> This laboratory includes the most advanced high-resolution 3D X-ray microscope available, making UW the world's first university to put this state-of-the-art tool in the hands of faculty and researchers to increase the understanding of underground oil and natural gas reservoirs. Hess Digital Rock Physics Laboratory provides an array of unique capabilities that can be used to study fluid flow through porous media with applications in oil and gas recovery. These unique imaging instruments within Dr. Mohamed Puri's laboratory are capable of mapping pore space and pore fluid occupancy in rock samples and other porous materials over a wide range of scales and resolutions, with applications in unconventional and conventional reservoirs. What this lab is, is it uses x-rays and other advanced techniques to look inside rocks at the microscopic scale. You can see what's happening in the rocks, you can observe the fluid flow, you then use the latest computer technologies to model that, by which I mean to predict what's going to happen. Then you can design efficient, safe and effective recovery. The grand opening of the lab brought together some of the world's most renowned academic researchers and industry leaders in the field of unconventional reservoir research. I consider possibly one of the greatest technological challenges of this century is how to provide enough energy to a growing world's population with aspirations of improved prosperity. Unconventional reservoirs are probably the biggest single opportunity you know, in the world to solve the energy needs of the world. And University of Wyoming has leading edge capability. It's the only place in the world that has this capability to begin to understand these very complicated problems that are ultimately going to solve the world's energy needs problems. Hess Corporation and the University of Wyoming are to be congratulated for pioneering this approach because I haven't seen something as integrated uh, as uh, this facility that I am uh, optimistic that it will definitely make a big difference. And Mohammed's lab isn't just a lab, it's the lab. It is by far and away the best lab in this area in the world.